Okay, let's talk about Pokey and the spelling test, shall we? This is another situation of instant gratification. We talked about that a little bit with Dumper when we talked about Goob and the bug collecting kit. Jumper wanted instant gratification. He spent his money on things that gave him happiness right in the moment. He didn't think ahead. And that's a little bit of what Pokey did. When he had to make a choice between two different things, he went for the thing that he really wanted to do right then in the moment, but he didn't think of what he was supposed to be doing. And that's something that we all do sometimes. It's, there, there's, there's something called opportunity cost. And that's a big concept and it's an economic concept, but it's also a life concept. Sometimes you are faced with more than one choice. You can do your cards. You could go walk the dog. Or you could have a basketball game with your friend. Which are you going to want to do? Now, if you go play the basketball game with your friend, then you can't walk the dog or go over your cards. If you walk the dog, you can't play basketball with your friend or do your cards. If you do your cards, you can't walk the dog or play basketball with your friend. So there's an opportunity cost. You have to pick the one and the opportunity cost are the two things that you can't do. Well, that was part of Pokey's problem, wasn't it? He had the opportunity every single day to take the time to study his spelling words. But he spent his time on something else. And so he ended up the last day trying to cram and learn the spelling words. And it just didn't work. Well, let me tell you something. Cramming does not work. The stress keeps you from really learning like you should learn. Sometimes you can get away with it, but not very often. Sometimes you're going to do far worse than you could have done if you had spent the time over time studying, like doing your cards two or three times a day. If you do that, then you know what you're supposed to know and learn what you're supposed to learn. It's opportunity cost, opportunity cost, kids. And think about that when you choose something. Now, also putting things off is something called procrastination. In fact, there's a procrastinators club and most people that should belong to it never do because they put off joining it. Um, and that's procrastination. You just put things off and put things off. Um, don't be that way. Do what you know you're supposed to do. Sometimes we have a really, 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 really hard time doing it. But you know what? I know somebody and you know somebody who can help us. I remember first joining the church well over 50 years ago and wanting to fast. But I had a terrible time fasting. And so I got down on my knees and I asked Heavenly Father and I told him, I really want to fast. Will you please take away this desire I have for food so that I can fast? He did. And I was able to fast. And from there on out, I was able to fast. For a few years now, I've not been able to fast because of various medical situations. But now I can fast again. And I found out that it was still the way it was at first. And so, again, I asked Heavenly Father to help me to fast. And he did. It's the same in being able to do what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. And that's really about Pokey and the spelling test. That's really the lesson here, isn't it? Doing first things first. Work first, then play so if you have a problem with this, I would encourage you to ask Heavenly Father to help you and, and remind you of the things you're supposed to be doing and 
to help you understand and want to do the things you should do first. And then hopefully you'll have the time to do the other things that you would like to do. If you put the work first, if you put the studying first, if you put cleaning up your room first, then you can do other things. And that's really what it's all about. And those who succeed in life, guess what? They do first things first. They do what they're supposed to do, what they need to do. And they don't worry about instant gratification. They don't procrastinate what they should do. They don't put it off. They follow this habit that Brother Covey has put down for you. Put first things first. Work, then play. And remember to help Heavenly Father if you have a problem with this.